This is the BMW Vision Driving Experience, a rolling laboratory built solely, we've been told, to push the limits of the brand's next-generation electric car platform and software. However, the only thing most people are going to see when they look at the gloriously maniacal saloon is a new BMW M3. The VDX even uses an all-electric, quad-motor powertrain, which we've known for some time will be available in the next M3 and have been told can deliver up to 1,341 brake horsepower, the equivalent of 1 megawatt of power. However, the M3 probably won't have that much on tap, and it almost certainly won't generate the same earth-shattering 18,000 newton meters of torque as the mad machine you see here. Visual changes between the concepts include the VDX adopting narrower headlights, mimicking BMW's iconic kidney grills, a wide lower air intake and splitter, flared wheel arches, wide side skirts, rear air channels, and a ducktail boot spoiler which the tail lights are integrated into. Though unlikely to reach production, the VDX employs lights on its wheels to show the state of the vehicle. The wheels light up green when accelerating, blue when it's regenerating energy and orange if using the traditional brakes. The VDX's interior is, as expected, an aggressive take on BMW's recently revealed panoramic iDrive cockpit, with carbon fiber back seats, racing seatbelts, and prominent center console buttons to control its driving systems. BMW also detailed part of what is under the VDX's skin, a control unit it's named the Heart of Joy. This control unit won't be exclusive to high-performance models, with BMW saying every fully electric new E-Class model will benefit from the Heart of Joy. BMW claims the new control unit can process drivetrain, brakes, charging, recuperation and steering subfunction information 10 times faster than previous systems, working together with the dynamic performance control software underpinning its models. According to the carmaker, thanks to the Heart of Joy, the car generates impressive traction and can be threaded through corners with exceptional precision. Fewer control inputs are required and the car's line can be maintained with greater precision and stability. The car generates impressive traction and can be threaded through corners with exceptional precision. Fewer control inputs are required and the car's line can be maintained with greater precision and stability. It also claims the regenerative braking, or recuperative braking, capability of the VDX is 25% greater than its existing electric vehicles EVs, while adding the traditional brakes only need to be used when hard deceleration is required.